Hey Nicole, should I be worried about my security as I'm online more and more during the day? Well, I think so. Like many of us who are online, if you're worried about your security, then this topic today is something that you should watch, where I'm going to go deep down and show you a mind map so that you can understand just how important it is to have security to protect yourself. Stay tuned. So the first question is, what do I need? There are three things that you need. One is the firewall, two is antivirus software, and three is up-to-date operating system. So today we're going to be covering what is a firewall. So a firewall, think of it as a digital barrier. So it blocks access to your computer unless you allow it. And how does it work? Well, it basically, it does protect. It protects you for, for many reasons. Think of a nightclub bouncer standing between the computers in your home and the troublemakers of the net. It also monitors all communication coming from the internet, allowing outsiders to access only the services you tell it. Modern desktops and laptops generally have firewall built in. In a public Wi-Fi network, for an example an airport or hotel, there are attacks by worms. And worms are malicious software that is spread from one device to another across a network. So turn on your firewall to reduce the chance of a worm spreading to all devices that use your home network connection. How do I check if my firewall firewalls turned on? Well, you turn it on in your Windows, which is through your control panel. And on a Mac, if you have a Mac, you turn the firewall on through system preferences under security. Does my firewall protect my computer from everything? No. It doesn't protect against malware, which is malicious software that includes viruses and spyware. So you do need to install antivirus software. What does my antivirus software do? Well, it protects you against viruses, trojans, spyware and worms. Ugh. How do you get the software? Well, there are many brands available in the market. In your computer shops, you can buy a antivirus software and it'll come with an activation code. Years gone by, they used to give you, used to be able to buy antivirus and it would come on a disc. But companies are really advanced now, so you don't need to have this anymore. You can actually go on the internet download the program and activate it by putting a code in. You can also, um, yeah, so that's covering online and where you can actually go and pick it up, which is the beauty shops. My friend says I don't need antivirus software if I have a Mac. Is that true? Macs generally are less vulnerable but the golden rule is all computer users should download antivirus protection and have automatic updates in the background. And that's really important because while you're busy working and you're busy, um, you know, busy lifestyle and you want to move towards having a digital lifestyle, it's great to just have automatic updates happening in the background. What's an operating system and why do I need it to, to be up to date? Well, funny enough, yesterday I got a phone call from somebody that was having a lot of issues with their computer. It just froze, they were getting all sorts of errors on their Microsoft, um, on their Windows, 
So I asked them how old was their computer and they said it was about 10 years old. So sometimes even if your software is not up to date, that can also cause a lot of weaknesses in the system and allow you know trojans and worms and, and you know, viruses to infect your computer so so what's an operating system it's a program that makes your com computer run companies are striving these days to make computers more safe and they keep on creating updates new operating systems are more likely to be more secure than older ones so that was the scenario that I had yesterday where somebody had called me and the computer was very, very old. So update your operating system when it becomes available. You can have automatic updates in the background, like I said, and you can also have it on manual, but make sure that you do update it um, when it becomes available. How do you do that? You will get pop-up messages on your Mac and how you get that is that through your Apple menu through the software update. So you go to Mac on your Mac through the Apple menu and then software update. On your Windows it's through the control panel, security section and then you'll see Windows update. What more can I do to make my home broadband secure? So here's a couple of tips here. Make sure it's a strong password. Your internet service provider, they usually do that for you, like whether it's through Telstra or through Belong or Optus, any of those internet service providers, they usually will have a very strong password for you, which is a mixture of upper and lower case numbers and other characters. Other Wi-Fi networks, like your neighbor's networks, you can see theirs and they could probably see yours but there's a padlock symbol and it's password protected. I have a strong password. Is there anything else? We'll turn off automatic connection to any available Wi-Fi network because that might be just insecure. And not all computers allow automatic connection, but it's worth checking that yours is disabled. I'm using a tablet. Are there any security steps I should take? Tablets and smartphones. Well, they don't generally have firewall and antivirus installed. iPhones will only allow you to download software from its official app store. And Android phones like your Samsungs, Motorola, Nokia's, um, Oppo, all those other Android phones, they have many antivirus software available that you can download. So that's how you can protect yourself on your tablets and smartphones. Here's a great question is, I use the computer at the library, is that safe? Well, it is, but don't use public com computers for financial transactions, sending emails with your bank details in them, and always log out after a session. What about Wi-Fi? Is it safe to use free Wi-Fi when I am out, out and about? So a scenario could be that I'm in the shopping centre and there's a free Wi-Fi, and some people are not sure whether they should connect or not. Um, it is a good question, it is definitely convenient, but I'm unsure how secure it is. It's safer again not to do any financial transaction using a public Wi-Fi network. It's safer to do it when you are home or using your own mobile data connection. So the web address, make sure that you check it, you check it, it's secure and usually it starts with HTTPS colon slash slash and the S at the end means secure rather than visiting a website with HTTP. So that's one way of checking if, you know, when you're using um, a Wi-Fi, when you're out and about, is that URL here, these two. 
What do I need to do to use Wi-Fi safely? So on your smartphone and tablet, you turn off automatically connecting to public Wi-Fi. Right? Don't let that happen just naturally. You need to do it manually. In your cafes and restaurants, set to check the exact name of the Wi-Fi network with the staff because it could be a fake. It could be even a staff member there that can be a hacker. So just check with them to make sure that the Wi-Fi address is, you know, the Wi-Fi network address is the correct one that's coming up on your mobile. On your laptop, turn on your firewall and antivirus, make sure your antivirus and software is up to date. Make sure you have some strong passwords a mixture of letters, numbers and characters for any websites that you're using so that will make it very difficult to actually you know get a virus on your devices and on your computer. And always remember to disconnect from the Wi-Fi if you don't need to be online. There's been stories of people hacking through web cameras and that and that's because they've left their computers on and connected so when you're not using it turn everything off, turn the power off and you will then protect yourself and be a lot more secure online. So I hope that you enjoyed this little video. If you want some more help, I am willing to do another tutorial where I'll show you exactly step by step behind the scenes how to actually get into your control panel um, and download and you know even download antivirus software. So give me a thumbs up, give me a like and depending on where you're, you're seeing this, if you're seeing this on YouTube, please give me a like and a share. And if it's on Facebook, we'll keep hitting that love tab because I love that one. So I'm going to say bye for now. So catch you soon.